Today we're doing a video for 10 best SMGs in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies. We recently did 10 best handguns that got news insanely mind blown and they were screaming like damn son and we also did 10 best wonder weapons that noobs think are god. But hey, I decided to bring you the 10 best submachine guns in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies once again. But ladies and gentlemen, some of them indeed have mind blown the shit out of noobs, right? If you have your favorite SMG on the list, let me know after you finish watching this video in the comments below. And hey, if you're watching this right now, the chances are the World War 2 giveaway is still going, just follow the link in the description. Scream water is not wet twice because hey, that's a fact. But ladies and gentlemen, Thompson is a wall weapon, it costs 1200 points and it got 20 ammo in the mag and 200 in reserve and that's exactly what I was saying. Shit is important but at the same time shit is not important. It's called gives matic when it's pack a punch and it got 40 ammo in the mag and 250 in reserve and it got a lot of noobs mind blown. Even my nibba Bob and I was getting mind blown. Just by seeing him scream dank meme dank meme and nostalgia. But coming in at our number 9 spot, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about a family friendly weapon by the name of Kuda. It's a wall gun in this thing called Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies and it costs 1250 points, it got 30 ammo in the mag and 210 in reserve and when you pack punch it, it got 50 in the mag and 350 in reserve and it's called the Kurokuta. <laughs> if, you, if you speak my language, you know what I'm saying but hey, that shit doesn't matter but uh, uh, the thing is, Kurokuta is a pack bunch version of the Kuda basically and you can put double pap abilities and every time Bob put dead wire on crew Kuda he's like this is the best thing ever and he's like yo I'm gonna get you around 100 but hey seconds later he goes down and basically uh, round two is his highest round that, 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 that's it. but at our number eight spot we're talking about another family friendly weapon and this shit is so family friendly that Bob was actually saying dank meme and water is not but yes Bob was saying that I was just saying, like whoa you crazy Bob, but at the same time I didn't say that because water is not wet that's the fact and Bob is not crazy to say that but hey what we're talking about the Uzi now Uzi it's a mob of the dead wall gun and uh, I don't know how much uh, points it costs because I didn't capture the gameplay at that time so I'm just gonna leave you at that but hey it got 25 ammo in the mag and 275 in reserve and 25 once again in the mag when you pack punch it and this time you get 300 in reserve you only get one extra mag and I just look at Trek and I say like what and Bob was looking at me saying like what and I was looking back and I was saying like what and it's called the Uncle Gal but the problem is it only got one extra mag and this is the only uh, submachine gun that didn't mind blow on uh, the shit out of Bob right I mean this can never mind blow the shit out of Bob because it, you only get one extra mag when you pack punch right but hey I personally love the Uzi it's such a good uh, submachine gun in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies and it was only in Mob of the Dead and uh, if he actually get Mob of the Dead remaster like there's a lot of possibility that we're gonna get in the future so hey just pop up less I guess but uh, Uzi it's only in Mob of the Dead and uh, I, I really hope we get it back but with Mob of the Dead pack punch camo this looks so so good and it was such a powerful submachine as well which is just like hey whatever right but coming in at our number seven spot we're talking about the MP40 now MP40 was in the original Origins and it's also in the uh, Origins remaster as you guys can see it's a wall gun it costs 1300 points got 32 ammo in the mag and 192 ammo in reserve and hey when you pack punch this Bob gets that's so mind blown because hey, instead of getting 32 ammo in the mag, this time you get 64, which is double! double the size but you get 256 in reserve and when Bob just compares it with 192 and 256 he's like yo that shit is not double so uh, after being mind blown he just comes down and I'm just like yo Bob you crazy man you gotta be like you gotta learn to appreciate things but hey it's called the afterburner when you pack punch it and once again it's a wall gun so you can get ammo anytime you want to and in the original origins you cannot apply the double pap abilities but in black ops 3 you can apply the double pap abilities basically you can get dead wire and all that sort of shit which can easily get you to round 100 and every time you bring the double pack punch abilities up Bob get insanely mind blown like it's not even funny but coming in at our number six spot I'm talking about a weapon that was only in the original origins basically was only in black ops 2 origins and it was not in the origins remaster which it was in because uh, basically we're talking about a scorpion and it's my neba 
obviously I as you guys can see it got 32 ammo in the mag and 256 in reserve and this shit shoots like a mother effer it got 40 ammo in the mag when you pack punch it and 320 in reserve and it's called the evolved that stalker and sometimes you get like this sort of like radical and uh, instead of having an iron side you get like a radical and a red dot side basically and this radical is one of my favorite it's like it seriously is a really good combo you get a green radical plus you get a origins uh, of course like the original origins bluish or ice-ish camel I'm not even sure if I butcher it or not but hey that shit doesn't matter but you get a ice camel and this looks so fly I, I absolutely love the scorpion and of course the muzzle flare that shit is just mm. and this shit really blows my mind like Bob is just already mind blown but what I'm trying to say this looks ridiculously OP but coming in at our number five spot I'm talking about the Vivo which looks like a P90 and I really hope like in the next track game which may be called Black Ops 4 who knows right but I really wish that we get P90 in the next track game especially in zombies that shit would be like ridiculously good but Vivo got 50 ammo in the mag and 350 in reserve and when you pack punch it you get 100 in the mag and 500 in reserve and this shit blows every noob away now it's called the barrage and hands down it's one of the best points gun in this thing called call of duty zombies and with double pack punch abilities and if you know how to conserve ammo well this is probably one of the best gun in call of duty zombies because hey you're gonna shoot two bullets and it's gonna kill like a mini horde of zombies and then all you need to do is time it efficiently and you are good to go even Bob was screaming dank meme dank meme when he was holding this gun in his hands but hey at our number four spot I'm talking about the VMP now check this uh, VMP is exactly where you would find Thompson in the original the reason of course like Thompson in Black Ops 1 Resurrection DLC as well We also got the reason you know what I'm saying but ladies and gentlemen VMP is exactly where you would find Thompson and just by this sort of calculation Bob mine just blows away just completely you know what I'm saying right but VMP is a wall gun costs 1300 points it just costs 100 extra points and Bob always likes to negotiate and he just forgets it's a video game right like you cannot do that but hey Vivo or I mean not the Vivo but VMP got 40 ammo in the mag and 240 in reserve and it got 40 once again in the mag when you pack punch it but this time you get 400 in reserve and it's called the impeller and once again if you pair this with like pack punch abilities this shit is a monster and especially it's a wall weapon right so you know you can always buy ammo but Bob always likes to hate the fact that he has to pay 4500 points when you actually pack punch it because when you pack punch it uh, and you want to buy ammo off of the wall once again it's gonna cost you a lot more than usual and 4500 points it's not a dank meme to Bob but at our number three spot we got the PDW 57 and if I remember correctly and if I'm not mistaken it was a wall gun and it was only a wall gun and it was like only in die rise it was a wall gun in die rise but I, I believe it was also a mystery box weapon in mob of the dead but hey that shit doesn't matter right but it got 50 ammo in the mag and 200 in reserve and this one is probably one of the most damaging submachine gun in this thing called Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombie and when you pack punch this uh, gun basically it's gonna be called predictive that's wish 57,000 instead of PDW 57 right you, you get what I'm saying but hey I don't wanna say what happens to Bob right he just <clears throat> but it got 50 ammo once again in the mag and at 350 this time around in the razor after you pack punch this B and I absolutely love the iron side like this is probably another sort of like Vivo that looks like a P90 ride but at the same time I really want P90 back or I want to see P90 in the next track game basically but coming in at our number two spot I'm talking about another one of the family friendly weapon and this fits perfectly that family friendly collection and homeboys like to call it the Tommy gun aka the M1927 now check this out I personally prefer the mob of the dead version because I feel like it's a lot more thicker than uh, <laughs> than compared to the black ops 3 version that we got but hey just for the sake of this video because of the gameplay purposes because it looks much better right I'm gonna have the original or not the original but rather the origins remaster version and it's the wall gun in origins remaster cost 1750 points I got 50 ammo in the mag and 350 in reserve but when you pack punch it you get 100 instead of 50 because that's what you would normally get in mob of the dead so in that regards I really love the black ops 3 version and Bob just whenever he hears that he has never played black ops 2 right but whenever he hears that he just get insanely mind blown and in the reserve you get 500 as well and it's called the untouchable in black ops 3 and speakeasy in black ops 2 it was such a good name but hey this video won't be over unless i hit you guys up with a banger and at our number one spot that's exactly 
what we're gonna do and I want you guys to I want each and every single one of you to go down in the comments just take a guess just guess what weapon we got at our number one spot and I quickly want to let you know that this is not a top 10 video but just a 10 best SMG list at no particular order but I don't think I would do it justice if I had it at our number two spot beside at our number one or whatever the case may be right I feel like this deserve that number one spot and at our number one spot ladies and gentlemen we're talking about the original PPSH 41 as I like to call it the papoosh it got 71 ammo in the mag and 355 in reserve and hey god forbids um, I I just I just want to end the video right here this shit is just mm, it doesn't even need any compliment from me but check out some other videos on the screen subscribe if you're new smash a like and they brought it back in black ops 3 it's called the Grim Reaper and it was only called the Reaper in Call of Duty World at War